Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to Cartier. I'm gonna try on a few items and after that we will have a quick visit to Chanel. I want to get one item and I'll take you guys with me. By the way, if you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram account is the same as my YouTube account, which is black and gold style. Please also consider checking out my other playlists. I have posted quite a few videos about Dior, luxury shopping vlogs, style and fashion, jewelry beauty products, Chanel bags, weekly vlogs, and travel videos. I have previously featured this ring that I'm gonna get for Christmas, and I'm also looking to add the earrings. I usually tend to make a set, so for example, when I bought my free wall ring, I ended up getting the earrings as well, and now I'm considering getting the smaller earrings like this one's on the left hand side i need a comfortable pair for a daily wear and i'm also considering getting them without diamonds because i'm not really filling it with diamonds and i also tried the justin clue earrings i probably would get the ones in this size which are pretty but i'm still thinking if this is something that i need to have i have quite a few hoops but i don't have that style I'm kind of torn in between this two, whether I should get the Justin Clue earrings and I could wear it with my Justin Clue bracelet. Guys, please let me know which earrings do you prefer on me? Which one do you think I should get? I know that they also have Justin Clue earrings in a small size, but they didn't have it in the store. So maybe I should go back <laughs> and try on that size as well. We also saw this ring, I had to try it on guys, this ring is so stunning and I will show to you the price of it in a second. It's so beautiful, I like the way it's reflecting the light and it's probably one of the most expensive jewelry item in Cartier that I have tried. Anyways, now we're gonna go to Chanel, I don't have much time here too. So the previous vlog about Dior new collection that they posted last Sunday, I actually filmed that vlog and this videos on the same day. I just have to split them because otherwise YouTube will ask me to lower the quality of my videos, which I don't like doing. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to check out the new items in the store. I will be getting one item and I wanna show it to you as well. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I can't believe it has been over three months since I shopped and bought anything at Chanel, but I had a very bad experience in the store and I will link down the video about it in the description box below in case you guys haven't watched it. But now I have a new SA and he is amazing and I'm very excited about it. Having a great customer service is so important and that's why I actually fell in love with such brands as Dior, Cartier, Van Cleef & Arpels. My friend and I just decided to walk into the store, check out what's new, but I totally did not expect to fall in love with this dress. I saw it on Runaway and it looked quite nice. It's actually the only item from the whole collection that I liked. But I have to say it's a lot nicer in person. The white portion of the dress is actually very soft and the black portion is quite thick. I like the material quite a lot and it's very important for me. And this dress is actually oversized, it has to be altered and the sleeves are way too long for me, I would have to alter it and maybe I will make it a bit more figure hugging, it's just a bit too loose in my view. I don't think I will have to change this dress much. I will just make a few small alterations and it will be perfect. I also saw this purple bag and previously somebody sent me pictures of this bag. It looked okay, but it's actually a lot nicer in real life. 
but the quality of the leather seems to be different from the quality of the rectangular mini that i have recently purchased and unboxed on my channel by the way guys if you haven't watched that video i will link it down in the description box below for you guys i have to say that this leather is softer and it seems to be a bit thinner so i would be a bit worried getting this back for the new price by the way we had a new price increase in singapore i just can't believe how expensive these bags are now i remember when they used to cost just 6k and i used to think that this is so expensive oh well i guess the price will only continue to increase and who knows maybe in the future there will be another price increase because we're still in the middle of pandemic and some countries are on lockdown i guess we will have to wait and see but the small size is quite nice i still like it a lot and by the way guys this week i will post a video comparison small versus medium so if you are not subscribed to my channel please consider to do so i also like this color so yeah very nice and some of you have sent me pictures of the new flap that should be arriving to these stores soon i don't know if it's coming to singapore yet but this color is very beautiful it looks incredible in different light but it's made of lambskin and i'm very curious about the quality of this lambskin is it going to be very thin again i wish that chanel created these bags in caviar as well because i would be definitely considering adding this color to my collection it's very beautiful i also saw some more ready to wear pieces actually this sweater is very cute but it's too thick for singapore if we got to travel anywhere else with the colder climate i would definitely consider getting it but since we are staying put for who knows when i'm not gonna add it to my collection still a lot of a red nowadays i like it and i also like the shade of these bags it's very pretty and the glasses are so interesting and also i saw a lot of ready to wear pieces from the previous seasons i have been so obsessed with the white color i just tend to gravitate towards it and this jacket i think i tried it on in one of my vlogs the sweaters tops so pretty I really love the white color i feel like i need to add more items i'm very curious to see the new jackets from the cruise collection in the white color i like this watch it's quite nice it's so feminine and also some more accessories here very interesting this sweater is so cute i like it a lot i like the fabric it's quite thick as well and this jacket is so beautiful see i'm gravitating towards the white again and this jacket i've seen it before it's so interesting and this one i'm not sure i like this style i don't know i don't like these colors and it's a bit long and this one's from spring summer i was told that there will be a lot of spring summer items as well available in the store let's see about that some accessories brooches so cute i like this and the earrings as well too bad i can't wear earrings i love chanel earrings so much but unfortunately i'm allergic i have to wear only gold any kind of gold and some more necklaces stunning i still wear necklaces i don't have allergy on necklaces <laughs> i love pearls so much and the belts are beautiful and some more bags and also i will show to you the scarves these black and white ones are so cute i like them and the jacket so pretty and the gray one is very nice of the pink cc logo it's stunning i will come closer to have a look at this just look at these pearls how beautiful they are 
I love them. I'm just wondering how difficult it is to dry clean them because I'm always paranoid. I have one sweater with charms that actually got destroyed by dry cleaners. So that's why I'm very concerned getting anything embellished like that because it's pretty hard to prevent that from ruining the item and it's just too stressful for my liking more chanel watches and the jewelry i love those earrings by the way i tried them on in one of my vlogs i will try to find it and link it in the description box below for you guys some more watches i like the black ones with the thin strap they're beautiful by the way guys i will unbox the dress next time i will have to alter it I don't know how long it will take, maybe a couple of weeks, but I'm so excited. I can't wait to show to you guys the end result. And I will share with you the style code. I just realized that I forgot to take a picture for you. Anyways, this is it guys. I hope that you like this video. Do let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. And do consider subscribing to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram account is the same as my YouTube account, which is black and gold style. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!